Right. Every Wednesday no of no every week. Now. Are you allowed to give me hints? This is how 13 year old Isabel Puya <laughs> starts her day. Good job, Brendan. Can I have high fives? In a Montessori classroom with kids who are homeless. I'm going to these. Okay, close your eyes. No peeking, no peeking, no peeking. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same. They're the same. So I'm going to put those in. She's always positive always upbeat you can ask that kid to do anything and she'll do it with a smile on her face because Isabel believes that it's her job to put some good out into the world. Chastin Glesman is Isabel's teacher at the Montessori Academy at Edison Lakes in Mishawaka where she's a seventh grader. So everyone have a writing utensil and the planner. This is what school looks like for Isabel. A tight-knit class with friends. Great guidance. I want to acknowledge you for being hardworking and dedicated. Kids who also have dreams and goals. Everything has to be out of the room. Where students get uh, one hour a week to do whatever it is they love. For Isabel. What did you bring to the table? It's writing music and playing the piano. I wish I could be someone just like you. Quietly open the door and listen. And it is really hard to believe that my student is on the other side of that curtain. Walking straight, no more stumble. This song is her mom's favorite about a group of boys with Down syndrome. I always tell her, Isabel, God gave you a gift and don't waste it. Her parents saw that gift when she was five. A little girl with a big message of love and peace. Broken hearts falling apart, what have we done? Now, eight years later, that call within is deep. February 14th, 17 people died in a mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida. And Isabel wrote this. And I got one thing on my mind. What would they be like if they were still alive? She writes songs about such meaningful topics, big world issues. Uh, she's not writing about teenage love and angst. Um, these are really powerful lyrics, really powerful songs. Her parents, Amir and Shala, want others to know that power and beauty. I feel like she can take the broken pieces and with her song bring it back together and give it a whole new meaning. When I see Isabel Jeffs, I want to hug her and hug her and kiss her. And I always told my husband, when I think of her and her kindness, just it melts my heart. It's a dark center. Those children at the shelter Isabel laughs with, she prays for. And she wrote something special for them, too. Asking us all, have you heard their stories? Have you heard of those horrible things? They're sometimes going through a lot, and we don't really realize that. And I think we could help them in a, in a lot more ways. Don't take yourself for granted, because anybody would take your place. Because you know, there's a lot more people out there. They're going through a lot more, so don't always complain. You know, because you know people are struggling. Amazing, isn't it? In a world where so many teenagers and adults, for that matter, are busy looking inward, she is looking out for others. I would always be like, Mom, I don't like, or like, I don't like how my clothes looking or something. And they're like, yes, well, don't say that because people would do anything to be you. And then they would do anything. And they would teach me to be, you know, to help other people. And my dad was always really caring. And I would see that he was so nice to everyone. I'm like, I want to be like that. And my mom, she was always so caring to everyone. And when she put her mind something, she went after it. And my sister was also really inspiration to me. She always told me, Isabel, you got to stay strong, you know? 
don't let people tell you what to do. 